Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to do a very quick installation guide on how to install the wheel arch guards for the Smart 453. Um, so it's exactly the same for the for 2 as it is the for 4. Um, they are different part numbers. Um, there's 8 pieces in total for both cars um, and they do have their own certain locations. But what I will do is list both the part numbers for the for 2 and the for 4 and um, a little diagram as to where each part goes. Now it's very simple, um, they just stick on with double sided uh, tape, all you need to do is just make sure the area is very clean um, underneath the seal as well, um, just use some isopropyl alcohol, give that a nice good clean. Um, if it's a cold day, you might want to use a hair dryer or a heat gun just to heat up the panel slightly, um, it just enables the uh, double sided tape to adhere uh, better, but it is really simple. Um, and I'll quickly show you how to do it. Okay, so I've already started. I installed the, the first one just as a, a guide for myself. Like I say, um, what you want to do, um, my car is absolutely filthy, so get yourself some uh, alcohol. Obviously, just spray the area. Make sure you get right up underneath the lip as well, underneath here, because the, the plastic guard does sit, as you can see, underneath the lip on there so make sure that's all clean so with with the part itself obviously it's already already got the tape already installed you just pull up the the gold tab pull back the adhesive make sure it's in line just place it onto the air thing make sure it's all nice in line push it on hold it on for a couple of couple of seconds um, like I say, if it is cold, heat this up uh, with a heat gun or a hair dryer just to help uh, the, the the sticky uh, lay the double sided tape adhere better. Um, but once you've done that, you just go around and do all four. Okay, so that's one side done. Just move along to the back. So that's one side done. Uh, it's just a case of doing the other side and um, it's really simple what I have found though is if you start with the panel at the join put it in so it sort of sits so this plastic this this corner is sitting against the bodywork push it up in up into the wheel arch and then lay this down as you go pushing down as you go that seems to sit a lot flatter because it has to sit right up against the uh, the wheel arch as well um, but yeah, so far I'm, I'm quite impressed. It's really easy to go on and it makes, it does make the car look slightly better. Okay, so once you've done all four, that is the installation complete. Um, I appreciate it's quite a short video, this one. Um, again, as always, I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope it was useful. Any questions or queries, um, give us a shout in the comments section and I will, um, try and get back to you as quick as I can. Um, is there any other videos or anything else you'd like to know about the Smart for 4? Give me a shout and I can see what I can do um, in regards to coding and so on and so on. Um, but again, as always, please like, please subscribe. And there's a lot more videos coming up. I have got the ambient lighting, full OEM ambient lighting installed coming up. Um, I just need to find a couple of uh, spare days for that because it is going to be two full days for myself to get that done. Uh, although I only expect it to take you know two to three hours um, if you were doing it normally. But as always, um, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.